Hello everybody. Today we will continue the second part of the experiment six, chemoselective reduction of trinitro acetophenone by using sodium borohydride in ABH4. So let's start the experiment. So for this reaction we need trinitro acetophenone, we need sodium borohydride, and as a solvent we need ethanol and di Later. First of all, we start weighting the nitro acetophenone. Uh, so we will take 1.65 grams and we will put it in the LMR. So I will try to, to weight 1.65 directly. So I have 1.65, as you can see in the balance. Then I will add here 20 ml of warm ethanol. I already put it uh, ethanol in the hot plate to warm. So I have here warmed ethanol. And from here, I will take 20 ml by using graduated cylinder. So I have here 20 ml, exactly as you can see. Then I added on the acetophenone. Then I use magnetic steroid bar. And I added on our product. Then I kept it on the hot plate until complete dissolution of uh, our product. So the solution is completely dissolved here is completely liquid so the next step i will add sodium borohydride uh, 0 0.45 grams so i have uh, 0 0.45 grams of sodium borohydride then i will add sodium borohydride in portion wise As you can see, the reaction start to change the color, indicating that the reaction is working. Uh, then we keep the reaction during 15 minutes. So the time is finished, 15 minutes. Then we add water on the reaction. Then we hate the reaction uh, during one minute. After that, we cool the mixture to room temperature by using ice. So I transfer the solution to the separatory funnel. Then I will do the extraction by using diethylator. I will add two times 20 ml of diethylator I have here diethylator as you can see diethylator then I will, add, I will do the extraction then I, I will add 20 ml on the mixture solution okay perfect so I close separatory funnel then I will do the extraction So as you can see, it formed now two phases, two phases. The first one is ether and down the water. So we'll take the ether. Here we have our product and the water contain all the impurity. And the water, we will wash the water again by ether. So we will do the extraction two times. So it is very clear, two phases will take the water. Okay. 
Okay, so here I have water and the spot reference till the the ether phase. Then I will use another early mirror to take the ether phase. Then I open here. Then I will take all the water, all the ether. As you can see there. So I have the ether there. And the water, I will wash the water again by another 20 ml of ether. I will close the spartary funnel. I take out this one from here. Then I add the, the water again in the separatory funnel. Okay, good. So here, 20 ml of ether. I will add it. Then I will do again the extraction like three times maximum more or less okay I will keep it few seconds then I will separate the ether from the water as you can see it is clear now two phases also we have the ether and we have here the water phase so I separate now the water Then I will take the ether, a mixture, I will mix the ether, the second ether, with the first ether. Okay, I will take all the ether now. Fantastic. I will add magnesium sulfate, MgSO4, to dry the small drops of water fast during the extraction. I will add few amount without waiting, no need and mix like this, something like this. You will see the solution returned very clear. So what we will do now, we do filtration. Perfect. Oh. Okay, so finished. So I have here, so I have here my product in the ether. So next step I will do the TLC. So to develop a TLC I need the solvent and mixture of solvent between ethyl acetate and the hexane. Okay, I have here TLC prepared. Okay, you can see here the S starting material, M the mixture and R the reaction the reaction so the product that I have in the baker in the early year and I already prepared for the solvent exine ethyl acetate one to one so I prepared one to one by using graduated cylinder then I have here I prepared 10 ml of exine ethyl acetate 10 ml one to one is five of exine and five ml of ethyl acetate by using capillar I will take few amount of the reaction okay so you can see here few amount of reaction then I will add small spot okay small spot on the reaction okay more than enough and another spot on the product okay perfect next step I will add the starting material they add another drop of starting material small drop here and the small drop in the mixture okay I will control this drop in the UV to see if the if this uh, drop or enough or not Oh, fine, excellent drops now. Then I'll put here inside my TLC slowly. Be careful. Fine. Then I closed the beaker to avoid evaporation of the solvent by using aluminum foil. And let's wait uh, five minutes. In the end, I will show you how it is the TLC, inshallah. So I think I can stop the TLC, TLC arrived here, you can see, 
it's a solvent front so i will take out the tilsi then i will draw immediately the solvent front up so you can see solvent front very clear so this this is the solvent front of the liquid so i will draw a line okay so this is the solvent front of the tilsi let's see what happened so as you can see so excellent 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 tilsi and we have a starting material so this spot the same here because this is mixture and we have here a new spot correspond to the product the final product wow 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 excellent reaction oh fine you see here big spot correspond to the final product nothing here reaction is completely is complete you can see we have nothing of starting material in this side means the reaction is completely finished i will send you this TLC. i will try to take picture then i will send you the still see this result to calculate uh, the rf and to and to put the report